Hi, I'm Bud Carlson with Turbos Aquatics. Today I'm going to talk to you about my third revision to the algae scrubber that I make. And uh, this is the Turbo HF, which stands for high flow. This is the L2 model I'm going to show you. I made many revisions, so I'm going to go over these uh, one by one. First we'll go over the parts here. The main box uh, is still basically the same form factor, uh, the same shape. You'll notice the difference here if you have been uh, looking at my products previously, is that this is now a one piece top all the way around. There's no cutout here for the tube to go into like there was before. The older version had a, a cutout for the slot pipe and uh, holes in the bottom and the side for everything else and it was two pieces that were bonded on. Now all of these holes are threaded for fittings instead of bulkheads. So let's go over a couple of the parts of the box first. The false bottom uh, has larger cutouts and uh, obviously because the screen sits right over the bottom like this the water instead of flowing through the hole here would actually flow out and off to the side. Uh, there's actually more uh, area for the water to flow through. So uh, then this goes obviously into the box. The side drain is the same size as it was before but instead of using a uniseal I just use a regular old one and a half inch uh, bulkhead or one and a half inch threaded adapter. So we have a lot more volume that can go through that which means uh, higher flow rates are possible and as you can see it does not protrude into the box very far. Now the drain, what I've done before is I've used a gate valve and a bulkhead and, uh, and this instead is uh, basically a DIY gate valve. I call it a wedge valve. But essentially you have a one and a quarter inch uh, threaded hole on the bottom. So you have a one and a quarter inch threaded fitting and an O-ring. And this goes down to a one inch into a T. Inside this T is the wedge. Now as you can see from this in the video hopefully you'll be able to see this clearly. Um, this allows a lot of flow or not a lot of flow. Allows, this is basically how you reduce the bubbles uh, that are coming through and keep it silent. Uh, but the wedge goes into the hole and you can make fine adjustments to get that to get the flow rate where you want it to be. It's a lot less restrictive than the uh, typical uh, uh, gate valve and much less expensive. A one inch gate valve is, uh, you're, going, you're going for 25, 35 bucks. So anyways, that simply screws into the base. Just to make it easier to show you here. As you can see, this is also very low profile. There's no bulkhead that sticks up here. So, that allows you to put in a false bottom that is much lower profile. Actually, not a whole lot lower profile. It's about a quarter inch lower. Then the next revision that I want to go over here is the slot pipe. Obviously the water has to get in here. So what I've got is a, uh, this is called a riser. It's PVC Schedule A 2 inch riser. This screws into this side. I got a, just a threaded cap on the other side. Okay. Now the slot tube itself is an open ended pipe. These are beveled on the inward inside so that the uh, threaded fittings will fit on it and it'll stay in place, it won't move. And then to create the seal, I've just got vinyl end caps. Basically one goes over this side, this is the side that, that uh, goes over by the threaded adapter or threaded plug. The other end is cut out so that water can flow through it. And a couple turns of the screw, your slot pipe is in place. Now it's, it's going to be sealed here on both ends so that the water comes in and it just comes through, goes right down the screen and you don't get anything that creeps outside the box here or outside the box here. And now the lid, what I've done instead of using cross bracing as I did before which still didn't prevent warpage. So I've used a layer of, of one quarter inch uh, type one PVC uh, and uh, laminated this to the black acrylic and that sits right on top. It sits right in the hole, nice and snug. Uh, and then of course you have 
uh, your choice of fittings that you can use. This is what I usually include, just the standard uh, three quarter inch thread by thread union. Threaded elbow to go to the pump. And of course you would use Teflon tape on all these fittings uh, for that. And there you go. That's, that's the assembly of the box right there. Um, of course, the L2 also comes, and the L3 and the L4 come with the LED light fixtures, which do have the removable diffuser in place. And what you would do is you would use these until you get some growth on the screen, because they're, they're intense enough where light actually inhibits the growth, uh, or can inhibit the growth. Uh, you usually need them for the first couple weeks or so until you get some growth in the screen, then you can take them off. Uh, of course, it does also come with the driver that will run both of these fixtures. And I also am now including the cleaning kit, which is the white scraper to scrape the screen when it gets to the point where you need that. Uh, the toothbrush cleaning out along here. That's in the way. Get that pull the false bottom right out. You can use it to grab the algae that's in there. And of course, this is what I use to scrub the top edge of the screen uh, when you're cleaning it every week. So I find those are very useful. Uh, just for people who haven't looked at these before, how the light fixture goes in is I've got a little tab down here on the bottom, and you just put the light fixture in and give the screw a turn. And there you go, light fixture's in place. It's not going anywhere. Uh, I do have, uh, these are uh, water resistant or waterproof adapters, they're called weather packs adapters. They're used in, car, in uh, automotive uh, industry quite a bit. And uh, you hook these directly to the driver. For the L2, what you actually do is you interconnect two of these. So you make, you make a daisy chain and then you connect those to the driver. So you basically got two fixtures running in series. So you would have you know, one on this side and one on this side. Connect these to the driver, off you go.